Hey guys, Wall coming at you to look at my recently acquired Polish WZ67-75 helmet. Picked this up at the latest gun show and it is fantastic. Now I already have a regular WZ67 but I decided uh, to pick up this one because it was a uh, very interesting. It was in nicer condition than my uh, other WC67. Now, they like said this is the WZ67 slash 75. So basically, it's an updated version of the WZ67 introduced to uh, the Polish military in uh, 1975. Now, it's still got the same general shape, well, the same exact shape, but inside there's a world of difference. The liner is much, much nicer. It's more modern. It's uh, more comfortable and definitely more sophisticated versus the older WZ67, which is still, which still has a good liner, but this is definitely way cooler. Now, like the WZ67's liner, the WZ67-75 has a foam pad on the inside for the crown, but that's where the similarities end. There is a multiple finger slimmer leather liner for uh, increased breathability for the head, and then there's a nylon nape strap in there as well, so definitely a more modern design and just a very cool and it looks uh, very, very nice. And this particular helmet appears to be in unissued condition. There's no scratches to the paint. The liner is not browned with age and everything still seems nice and crisp. Now a cool thing on this particular helmet is that it has this this camo net with a little mesh that goes down to, to cover your face so I guess for extra camouflage. Now, now normally you can wear the helmet with the the camouflage net like that and then you can put leaves, foliage and stuff like that in it or you can put the net down for added concealment so let's go ahead and put it on so just uh, it's uh, very very cool it's still got the same chin strap as the uh, the original WZ67 so it's very nice the chin strap hasn't even been broken in yet I'm gonna have to fiddle with that later on but it's just an extremely extremely cool helmet so you put it through the little put the little peg through the tab on the leather chin strap and then there's a little loop for securing that other end and again just I the thing that really uh, jumped out at me was the net on this and uh, besides the fact that it looked in uh, better condition and the liner was different the net really jumped out at me because my other one doesn't have it and this helmet I was able to get for uh, 40 US dollars, which is a steal because the regular WZ67s are a dime a dozen. I got uh, my other ones for $30 a piece, even the one that's, uh, that's in pretty used condition. But uh, 40 wasn't bad for a helmet like this. And in addition, it's got the net. It's the uh, WZ67-75. And it's actually sized really well, so it fits. I'm a size 57, and uh, this seems to fit me pretty good. As you can see at the profile, it's the exact same as the WZ67. And uh, from what I can tell, this helmet is still in use with the Polish military. I don't know if it's the reserves or for training or whatever, but from the information I can gather, this helmet is still in use. So it's a, a very cool helmet. Definitely glad I picked it up. Um, even if you already have a WZ67, you're going to want to get your hands on a WZ67-75 because these are great. And uh, hopefully you can find one in uninterested condition. And this one's pristine. It's got the eagle on the front. And I could not be happier. So just making a very quick video. Hope you guys like it. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.